Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and today I'm doing part two of my favorite books of 2016, which are my favorite standalones that I read this past year. There's not that many. Let's get going. first book I want to talk to you about is a middle grade novel that I only gave four stars to, but it's a very strong four stars, um, probably more like a four and a half star. It didn't quite bump up to five stars, but I feel like it is a very important book. It is a very well written book, and it is The Thing About Jellyfish by Allie Benjamin. Let me see if I can get the cover to come up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It's a beautiful cover, and the, the story that this is published September 22nd, 2015, and the story in this novel is amazing. There is a girl who is weird, and she knows she's weird, and she just she's really interested in other things, and it talks about her best friend and her relationship with her best friend. It goes back and forth. I did a review for it back in July when I read the book, and it's just a gorgeous book. I'm so glad I read it. It has really stuck with me, and you guys should definitely check it out. The next book I want to talk to you about is another middle grade novel. This one I read in October, and that is The Evil Wizard Smallbone by Delia Sherman. I requested this from the publisher and got it like a week before publication, so it is available but this story is, it's just funny, it's fantasy, it's, it's great. It's middle grade, snarky fantasy kind of at its best, and I really enjoyed it. And then let's move on to a book that nobody seems to know where it belongs. Some people say YA, some people say adult. I think it's more adult, but it doesn't really matter because wherever you put it, this is an absolutely beautifully written, evocative book, and I read this in June, I believe, um, and I already want to do a reread. It's gorgeous. The story is amazing, and I love this one very, very much, obviously. The rest of the books I want to talk about, I don't have a copy of to show you. I could find them on the phone, but the thing about jellyfish didn't look that great, so I'm not going to... Uh, to do that to you. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is The Crossover by Kwame Alexander. Now, I read this one just at the beginning of November, and I picked it up because it was so hyped by BookTube, but I'm so glad I picked it up. It was very evocative, very well written, and definitely something that we need more of in young adult literature. And then I have like a favorite author <laughs> from 2016. And that is Neil Gaiman. I had never really read any of his stuff until this past year. And I've listened to the audiobooks that he narrated for the Graveyard Book and The Ocean at the End of the Lane. And I just love them. The Ocean at the End of the Lane especially. I know that that's one that people either really enjoy or really meh about. But I'm in, I'm in the part that really enjoyed it. I loved the way... He did the story. Um, I just loved the way it was written. I love his writing style. My most anticipated book of 2017, the only thing that I've actually looked at, found the release date for and all that jazz, is his new book about Norse mythology that's coming out. But I think my favorite book by Neil Gaiman that we read this year was probably Fortunately the Milk, which I read to my daughter and was absolutely hilarious and just perfection. The only short story uh, collection that made it onto my list is American Housewife Stories by Helen Ellis. It was just hilarious. I don't do an awful lot of short story compilations just because I don't typically find them in my area, but that one I'd heard some good things about around its release date, and they had it for free on Kindle for a little while, or my library had it or something. And I wound up reading it on my phone, and I found that it was actually fairly easy for me to read on my phone and addictive so that I wanted to keep going. And with my eyes, it's very difficult for me to read on 
this thing for very long periods of time. So that definitely needs to get a nod. And then finally, I have a book on here that for some reason I was thinking was a standalone. And then I remembered no, because the other book by this author I have on the list is the second book. So technically these should be in part one with the favorite series, but whatever, I'm going to include them here. I have gushed about these. You guys know it. And that is Escape from Mr. Limoncello's Library and Mr. Limoncello's Library Olympics. Those two are the first two books in a series by Chris Gravenstein. The third book is coming out in late 2017. I'm really looking forward to it. Not sure exactly what the release date is, but I know it's going to be like September-ish, I believe. And while I was telling you about that, I actually remembered another book that's on this list that is a duology but I haven't read the second one yet. And that is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. We'll just throw that out there. I really loved that book. I read it right at the beginning of January. And that seems so long ago now. It's been a whole year. But I loved it. And I'm definitely going to read the second one very soon. I've got the box set. So I just need to get on with it already. That's all I have for you today. Sorry I added a couple of series in there. But whatever. I'm sure you'll forgive me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys' favorite books of last year were. And until next time, read something good, write something better. Bye.